Last night, we had one unfortunate event and one very cool fortunate event. The first one was both Patty Gasso and Bob Stoops were inducted into the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame officially. And we can think of not a whole lot of other folks that deserve to be in there, even as she's still coaching Patty Gasso. And we all know what Bob Stoops has meant to the University of Oklahoma and this state. And we could put Mike Gaddis into that same conversation. Before Joe Mixon, before DeMarco Murray, and before Adrian Peterson, and after Marcus Dupree, Mike Gaddis terrorized the Big 8 in a fashion that put him on the same level as Barry Sanders when Sanders was in the midst of becoming the best running back ever to touch a football in the sport of college football. The way most folks talk about Dupree is the way old heads talk about Gaddis. The way most folks talk about Mercury is the way Sooner Faithful talk about Gaddis. And like the Roman god, Jupiter's sire and son to the goddess of the plains, these plains, he was a speed merchant. And if you thought you had him caught, wrapped up, and stopped, out came the wand, and with it, a football move. And he was free to chase and to deliver the message with each first down and each touchdown. And the message, we're coming for it all once again. Signed, Oklahoma Sooners. As a senior at Carl Albert, Mike Gaddis rushed for 1,989 yards, 25 touchdowns, and was the Oklahoman's 1986 All-State Offensive Player of the Year. In the 1988 Bedlam game in Stillwater, Oklahoma State's Barry Sanders won that year's Heisman Trophy and rushed for 39, or excuse me, 215 yards on 39 attempts with two touchdowns against the Sooners. But OU won the game 31 to 28, with the freshman Gaddis rushing just 18 times for 213 yards, two scores. Means he needed fewer than a third of the carries to nearly match Barry Sanders' total in that game. Entering the October 14, 1989 Red River rivalry, Gaddis, then a sophomore, was one of the nation's leading rushers and being discussed as a serious candidate for the Heisman Trophy. And he rushed for 14 or rushed for 130 yards on 14 carries, including a 64-yard touchdown run before a debilitating non-contact injury took out his left knee. He missed the rest of the 89 season, then returned for the 90 season, and then in 91 rushed for 1300 yards as a senior. Through 6 games, you could see what Mike Gaddis was about to do. 829 yards rushing on 110 carries with 10 touchdowns. His 274 yards against Oklahoma State that year are the fifth most in a single game in OU football history. The Minnesota Vikings took him in the sixth round in the 92 draft, but Gaddis blew out his other knee in minicamp, destroying any shot he ever had of a really great NFL career. Mike Gaddis passed last night at the age of 50, which most of us would consider way too young. And one of the great, ah, man, great misfortunes of my life, I would say, is not being able to see one of these guys that folks 15, 20 years older than me, they love to talk about. Just like they love to talk about Barry Switzer in his heyday. So I depend on you to tell me what's what. Because after all, after all, man, I was just two years old when Mike Gaddis was doing his thing. And yet and still, I got YouTube. I got your memories to let me know what I missed.